Welcome back, everyone. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This, of course, is the Tom O'Brien Show. If you take a look over at my screen here, I'm looking at the newsletters tab on TFNN.com. We go down here to the second row. The first column, you have opening call by Basil Chapman. Now, what is pretty solid about this? Basil comes on every Tuesday. Love listening to him. His show is on at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern time. That is the Tiger Technicians Hour. Now, Basil had just done on July 23rd a subscriber webinar. Now, this is one of the perks you get when you're an opening call subscriber. He does these webinars talking about this circumstance was the sectors and stocks to focus on in this next phase of the market cycle. Uh, and this is accessible to all subscribers of the opening call newsletter. What is also very cool that Basil does is he does a little Saturday update, a little briefing for the week um, just a lot of stuff going on with it, and it's just fantastic. It really gets into it. I love his analysis. And uh, if you subscribe today, if it's your first time, we have a 30-day money-back guarantee um, on all of our newsletters for first-time subscribers. And for whatever reason, it doesn't work out for you. Basil, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Jacob. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Quite an interesting market today. Good CPI report. We'll see what happens with it. You know, it's, it's fascinating because, in a sense, the market is ignoring a lot of things. It's just in its own trajectory. And if you look at this chart here of, of the Dow, uh, here on the left is the daily, in the middle is the weekly chart, monthly on the right. Uh, you can see that I've got a trend line that I drew in from the round number 38,000 low that was made uh, beginning of June. We went all the way to 41,376.00, a round number, all-time high. It's just mm -hmm. unbelievable that you can get that in an index that's at 41,000. That was on the 18th of July. We came down pretty sharply, and we went to 38,409. But you can see by this chart <clears throat> that this trend line, this diagonal trend line that I drew from the day before the big gap down to the low on that uh, Monday a week ago, um, that trend line was exact resistance on all those big spikes uh, since Tuesday of last week. So here we are. And what have we done today? We've extended that rally. And one of the things I've been looking at is for subscribers to open and call. <clears throat> well, we went long the day of the low because the volatility index this is amazing. The volatility index, oh, I typed it in the wrong place. Let me type it over here. Went to 65. Well, 65, when you think of the news, the news wasn't that bad. I mean, the overseas, there was Japan was down 20%. Uh, there, was, um, there were just a lot of things going. There was a carry trade situation. 65.75. A spike like that, when we were just the previous day, we were down under 30, that goes to the 85.47 .47 high of March of 2020. That was a coronavirus. There were business questions. There was the Fed. There was interest rates. So I, there were, everything I looked at suggested that that was going to be some kind of a low of consequence if the VIX dropped. Well, it has gone from 85.75 to 18.27. That is really, that's a, that is a huge, it's like, I call this the Eiffel Tower, and since the, uh, it's appropriate since we just uh, finished the Olympic Games in <laughs> Paris. <laughs> Look, it goes straight up and straight down. This particular pattern looks like an uppercase A, and uh, it could stop at any point, but the fact is it's given impetus to the buying. So what, so what we've done, we, we are long for subscribers, kind of aggressively long um, in the uh, Dow. We've already been long since the 20, uh, March 2020 low uh, in the Dow and then the October low of 2023, uh, 2022. And we've just added to that again. And now what we're looking at is for the first time since that low was made uh, back on Monday the 5th, we're looking at leg B above this. Now the day's young. Anything can happen in 35 minutes. But look what's happened. We are above that line that trend line resistance. And that to me is really important because the technicals have been very weak. Even the nine period moving average has not gone above the 14. So it's a work in progress, I've said to subscribers, but I anticipate that there should be some higher highs to come. I've got a feeling that the previous high of 41,376 in the Dow, I think 
I don't think we're getting there in this particular move. I think it's going to get bumpy from here, but I think the trajectory is higher highs and hopefully uh, higher lows. Um, we're also um, along many other uh, uh, positions. We raised a lot of cash waiting for this big sell-off. That's what my webinar was all about. We've been putting that, that money to work. And most importantly, we've got position. I like to have positions where there's different price ranges because I have subscribers. They, they're able to put money to work at all different levels. They don't mind if, it's, if something costs three hundred dollars, uh, like the uh, the uh, Dow itself or Microsoft. We are still long Microsoft. We were in uh, we're long from uh, way back at uh, three eighty, and uh, here we are at uh, sorry three thirty eight. Here we are. At, 414, we've already gone to 468, and even Microsoft's acting quite well. So I think it's been a very important uh, rotation through different uh, areas of the market and uh, being very selective now. And I'm going to uh, show a particular chart. I usually don't do this when we are so early into the, into the uh, position, but it just I just wanted to show the technique, as I say, we, we are along positions in all different price ranges. So I also like to get for subscribers stocks that are in the single digits. So we have a stock called Genius Sports Limited, data betting, marketing, it's out of London. And we've actually got two positions. And one of the patterns that I look at, I'll draw, I'll show this expanded for you to see, is that I look at this big cup formation. It can have a smaller one, like a bowl, and then it extends. And that's the pattern that we've been looking at. And I've got a trajectory with the Chapwave inside wedge target resistance line here that says that there's a chance that we can get to the 7.51 area, and that takes you to uh, the 19th of August. So we'll be watching that closely, but it's based on this particular pattern with the 751 high back in March of earlier this year. So I like to look at that. I like to look at cup formations. I like to look at the bowl formation. And even more importantly, you can get them in different time sequences. So here's one that goes to $7.77, same stock, and that's the 200 period moving average high that was made back earlier in 20, uh, back in February. And that went to $7.77. So I've got uh, this possibly rallying to different heights, and the uh, first real resistance will be at this 200 period moving average, which is at 7.29. So I like to look put the package together, and as you said, on weekends I do an overview. I, I, yep. I We look at very closely what has worked, what should work, what we're doing, what we're looking at, what we want to put money to work in, what what um, is perhaps a good area, but I don't see anything yet. We have to wait for a pullback. And I like to treat that as really a big market overview for what subscribers would be looking for for the coming week and using uh, material of you know what, what we've had already. Fantastic. Yeah, Basil, um, really looking forward to hearing from you tomorrow. You're on at 10 a.m. for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Folks, if you haven't checked it out yet, strongly recommend and check out the opening call newsletter. Again, 30-day money-back guarantee if it's your first time. It doesn't work out for you, but we're betting you're going to like it. Uh, Basil, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much, Jacob. Folks, stay right there. I'll be right back.